Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the SmackDown Live Review. I'm your host, Glenn Thomas. As always, one four for the Wrestling Marks of Excellence, which you hear on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, YouTube, wherever you get your social media. Uh, let's get down to the SmackDown Review. Uh, the whole show, the home going, the home show uh, before, the go home show before the Royal Rumble. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. We see the show opened up. The show opened up with Becky Lynch being able to stand, standing in the ring, talking about how she is a man and how everybody wants to know what she has been doing. Uh, and then she said, what I've been doing is just getting prepared for my match at the Royal Rumble where she would take on Oscar for the WWE SmackDown Championship. Uh, then, you know, the Oscar comes out as well and chants and talks and, and and Japanese, and, and she just yells at Becky Lynch about how she will retain the title at the Royal Rumble. And then we get one other guest that comes out, and that is Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair comes out and says how she doesn't care who wins their title match at the Royal Rumble, that all she knows is that she's going to toss 29 other women outside the ring, and that she will be the winner of the Royal Rumble. Now, if Charlotte wins the Royal Rumble, she will become the first. It will be her and Ric Flair become the first daughter in father winner of the Royal Rumble with I don't think Charlotte's gonna win the Royal Rumble nonetheless I do think she will main event WrestleMania even though she does not win the Royal Rumble but I think she she don't she does not win but she will main event WrestleMania somehow these three women uh, will be involved in main event matches at WrestleMania 35 coming from MetLife Stadium uh, in New Jersey only time would tell. But then a brawl ensued between Oscar and Becky Lynch where they had to be separated by the officials in the back. Becky Lynch even takes off her jacket and get and whips Oscar fiercely, fiercely. And then even when we come back from commercial break, these two are backstage and they still are fighting. But the first match of the evening was a kind of a grudge match, you would say. It was the match between Naomi and Mandy Rose. We know Mandy Rose for weeks had been taunting Naomi, trying to mess with her husband doing all type of things to get under Naomi's skin and it finally comes to a head. Now WWE instead of giving us to giving this match on the pre show at the Royal Rumble pay per view, gives it to us on SmackDown for free. This should have been on the pre show other than Shinsuke Nakamura and Rusev, which we will get now if you don't know. We'll get on the pre show. Shinsuke Nakamura for and Rusev will take will fight each other for the US title as well as there'll be a fatal four way for Buddy Murphy's cruiserweight championship but nonetheless we get Mandy Rose and Naomi back and forth match here and you guessed it right ladies and gentlemen Sonya Deville gets involved in this match causing Naomi to be distracted and Mandy Rose the goddess herself picks up the win here and then we move on to what I thought was the one of the better segments of the night Vince McMahon AJ Styles and Dan Brian Danielson Brian Daniels uh, in the ring uh, and outside having a verbal conversation as you will Daniel Bryan right now is great on the microphone. He is the reason that to watch SmackDown. His heel turn has made him a one of the top heels in the company. These two guys are the, some of the best wrestlers in the world. It is great to see that Daniel Bryan has signed with the WWE and stayed with the WWE instead of going on to the Indies where most people thought he would do. But nonetheless, they go back and forth. Daniel Bryan complains about how he is the man in wrestling. Uh, Vince McMahon gives him a little suit like, why don't you get in the ring? AJ Styles finally makes his way outside the ring and him and Daniel Bryan get into a physical altercation where to where AJ Styles was getting ready to hit the phenomenal elbow on Daniel Bryan but he pushes Vince McMahon into the way and then he gets the upper hand on AJ Styles nonetheless and makes his escape back to the up up to the ramp into the back. Uh, this is a will be one of the better matches on the Royal Rumble card. Uh, will probably be the match of the night because Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles are, two, as I mentioned earlier, two of the best wrestlers in the world. And I think we will see one heck of a match come this Sunday Royal Rumble between AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan. Dave Metzler, go ahead and get your five stars ready for this one because I think this will be a five star match. Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, then we moved on to the Miz. Take on Cesaro as we know Miz in Shane McMahon has a title match a tag team title match against Cesaro in Sheamus Debar on this Sunday night uh coming this upcoming Sunday night at the Royal Rumble the Miz did not win this match because of the because of the interference of Sheamus but, but we, we did, did get, get to see Shane McMahon, McMahon get involved as well and the bar put Shane McMahon through the Miz which also went through a table so that means since the bar got the upper hand on Smackdown that we will get new tag team champions at the Royal Rumble we will see Shane McMahon and the Miz become your new 
tag team champions. That's just my prediction, my opinion. Hey, if you don't you disagree with me, leave a comment in the comment section. But I do believe that we will get new tag team champions on this Sunday coming up from the Royal Rumble. Uh, then we moved on to Samoa Joe taking on Mustafa Ali. And there's no bigger baby face in WWE wrestling right now than Mustafa Ali. The fans love him. The kids love him because his masks glow up uh, when he comes to the ring. Uh, Mustafa Ali has been putting on great matches, as we can see. The match he had m about a month ago with Daniel Bryan. And now he went on Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe says that's just that submission machine. He doesn't care who he fights, who he wrestles against. He said that all 29 competitors in the Royal Rumble are is his enemy, and he doesn't matter. And he picks up the win over Mustafa Ali by putting him to sleep. Uh, then we got the match of the night, the main event of the evening, the coup de gras, as they would say, the two out of three fall match between Rey uh, Mysterio and Andrea, Andrea. Uh, and we got this match back and forth. It, seeing all my, I'm still going to call him. I know what they changed his name to. WWE cut it off as they normally do. No longer have we have Big E links, and we just got Big E. WWE is known for cutting names up. But anyway, Rey Mysterio <laughs> loses the first match, uh, and Andrea picks up the second match and then we get an interference while they were fighting during the third match Samoa Joe interferes the match once again I told you he is a submission machine nobody would get over on Smackdown as long as Samoa Joe is there he beats up everybody in the ring it didn't matter if it was Rey Mysterio he puts him to sleep as well and then he goes on to cut a promo again that how he's going to toss all 29 other guys out of the ring and will be the number one contender or will go to Wrestlemania to main event but then out of nowhere you know what happens Randy Orton hits the RKO onto Samoa Joe and the, sh the crowd goes wild and the show goes to black as Randy Orton stands in the ring this year's Royal Rumble is up for grabs. We don't know who's going to win. Will it be a SmackDown competitor? Will it be a Raw competitor? Many people say is this year's the year that Raw will win. Some say this is the year that a SmackDown competitor will win. Only time will tell. You have to tune in this Sunday night to the Royal Rumble. Also tune in this Thursday as the Wrestling Marks of Excellence will give you their Royal Rumble. Rumble predictions. Myself and the Wizard nephew Corey will tell you. We'll go through each and every match and give you who we think will win. Also, who would think will win the women and men Royal Rumble respectfully. We know that right now the R Truth is number thirty on the men's side, and Carmella is number thirty on the women's side. Everything else is up for grabs. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me here for the SmackDown live reaction review. As always, if you're not confirmed, consider yourself denied. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and that bell notification. Good night.